Now we want to go to Budapest, Hungary, where one America's Chanel Rion has been tracking down Ukrainian witnesses as part of an exclusive OAN investigative series dismantling the Adam Schiff impeachment hoax. In an exclusive interview with One American News, Ukrainian former Prosecutor General Yuri Lutsenko says Yovanovitch perjured herself before Congress and America, and he has the documents to prove it. So, Mr. Lutsenko, you inherited Mr. Shokin's Prosecutor General office, and describe for us your first interaction with the U.S. Embassy in this position. So, everything was good, but then uh, Yovanovitch visited me. Ambassador Yovanovitch. Ambassador Yovanovitch and uh, Mr. Kent. They visited me for small negotiation or tokens. Did they visit you in your office? Just curious. Uh, yes. Uh, firstly, I visited her in her office, and then it was a, the second meeting, but the first in my office. They visited me. And we spoke normally, and she asked me to change some old uh, deputies. For context, when Obama's point man for Ukraine, Joe Biden, bragged about how he threatened to withhold $1 billion in U.S. aid in order to successfully fire the prosecutor, Viktor Shokin, Biden paints himself the hero, performing a public service. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Biden never mentioned the fact his son Hunter was on the board of Burisma, Ukraine's largest oil and gas company. Biden also never mentioned the fact that the prosecutor he got fired was investigating Burisma. This conflict of interest raised little actual interest amongst the media. That's when our interview Yuri Lutsenko inherited the fired prosecutor's office. But soon after the inheritance, Lutsenko received an interesting visit. But then she asked me about uh, to close case of one person then the, I said, no, it is impossible. I couldn't uh, close any case without investigation. So I took a piece of paper on my table and I, uh, I write these three, uh, uh, not cases, but synonyms, Kasko, Leshenko, Shabunin. Okay, okay, Miss Ambassador, Madam Ambassador. Uh, let's continue your untouchable list. Uh, she asked me, why are you, are you so serious? And then I uh, destroyed this list. So, while I am general prosecutor, no president, no am ambassador could give me, uh, or could announce me such lists. That was the full story. So uh, she ran immediately from the office, and my uh, boy in, in uh, near office doors asked me, what you told her, his red face, uh, very angry. I didn't agree to re receive any orders to open or to close criminal cases. Fast forward to Adam Schiff's impeachment inquiry and Schiff called up Ambassador Yovanovitch to testify. Lutsenko says he was shocked to watch Yovanovitch's testimony when she said she never gave him such a list. Technically, says Lutsenko, no, she never gave him a list. The list still came from her. When Lutsenko found a case in which $7 billion went to the U.S. via possible money laundering to a firm called Franklin Templeton, he wanted help from the U.S. Justice Department to track down and retrieve this money. Ambassador Yovanovitch, says Lutsenko, played the obstructor. I was once again shocked when Madame Yovanovitch told to members of the committee that Lutsenko asked me to organize his meeting with American Attorney General. But you know, gentlemen, that there is a procedure for this, she told. The procedure that Lutsenko should or even must give us a uh, short topic, what uh, points he, want, he wants to discuss with American law enforcement bodies. And Jovanovic said, and he never uh, gave us such an information. I have bad news for Madame Jovanovic. This is my letter, my deputy letter to request for cooperation in investigation against the criminal organization of Yanukovych and regarding possible investments in the U.S. based 
mutual and other funds for the purpose of money laundering. Stay tuned. For more bombshells from this exclusive interview, watch for the next part in our One American News Investigates episode. I'm Chanel Rian for One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.